There is a new sheriff in town, and the man who stepped up to that title is Rick Ramsey. Now, 25 years ago, he began as a patrol officer, and he always had the goal to one day become sheriff. He's reached that goal, and he couldn't be more excited to serve the residents of the Florida Keys. Sheriff Ramsey, thank you for being on the show. I always enjoy being here with you, Jenna. Thank <laughs> well, you. Well, it's great having you here, and this is my first time to have you as sheriff officially, so congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, Sheriff, since you're in the role, you're, I know you probably had to jump right into the position. What's your focus? Well, you know, um, what I said throughout the campaign trail was my focus then and still now, and even prior, I've always uh, presented myself as a community leader and someone who's active in our community and always wants to try to make a change. And my focus now is just that, is trying to further that community involvement, that community impact, that community partnership. And I'm instilling that in my uh, management team. I've had a meeting and I've focused my lieutenants and captains and majors and above that this is where we're at. We're at a community first, and I've said I'm committed to the keys, I meant it, mm -hmm. and that we're going to focus our energy on our partnerships, our community policing, our quality life issues, uh, trying to make people's lives better, uh, working on uh, cleanup projects, cleanup programs, and trying to um, leave this place better than we found it. I think you're going to do that. I, I'm sure I have try. no doubt. Tell me a little bit more about the community policing and what all that involves. Well, you know, a lot of people just think law enforcement and they think um, patrol car, guns, go out there, bang, bang, shoot them up, take the bad guy to jail, mm -hmm. which is the fun, action, excitement part. But there's so much more to it. Mm -hmm. And we want our men and women on patrol to realize that it's not just that. It's more. It's trying to prevent crime, deter crime, detect crime, stop it from happening. And it's what's called the broken windows theory, which basically focuses on if you've got a string of homes and, or windows, and if someone breaks out a window, if you don't fix it after a period of time, you're going to see as more windows down that street start getting broken out. Mm -hmm. Or like graffiti. If you see graffiti, I told my command staff, we want it out in 24 hours. Once we identify it, I want it gone in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Because if you get graffiti, it encourages others to tag. Mm -hmm or the people who did it think they can get away with it. And you start seeing walls like in Miami, more and more and more and more and more garbage graffiti. Mm -hmm. While some graffiti is, is artistic, most is gang symbols or trash, rude, vulgar, hateful type stuff, which I don't want in our community. I don't want to see it. And if people see graffiti, the first thing that comes to most people's minds are gangs and crime. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a gang problem here and our crime is low considering other areas, but we want the appearance to continue to be that people look and think this is a safe community to live, work, and play in. Mm -hmm. and they see broken windows, they see trash, they see graffiti, they think crime, gangs, and that it's uh, not a safe place to be, mm -hmm. and we don't want that. No, no. no, we don't down here. It's important that the people who live here, work here, visit, all see this as a, a friendly, happy, nice, safe place to be. Mm -hmm. And we want that. And we want that for our families and, and everyone else. So we're trying to reemphasize is just not go out and, and try to arrest people or write a bunch of tickets. It's focus on the lighter side, things we can do to make a difference in someone's life. Quality of life issues, um, you know, it could be um, clean up neighborhoods, a project, some area of identifying neighborhoods which need uh, more additional lighting to make mm -hmm. it um, safer. Mm -hmm. Or maybe trees are overgrown blocking stop signs or speed signs that we can get out there with public works or some other way to make sure those signs are up. Signs are down, make sure they're up. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be um, small little things make a difference. I don't care if it's a windy day and someone's trash cans are blowing around in the street. Stop, pick the trash can up, put it in someone else's yard. Mm -hmm. A, it looks bad. B, it's lucky to get hit by a car sooner or later and just be destroyed the garbage can, but more so, it could have caused a car crash. Someone trying to swerve a garbage can rolling in the winds. Mm -hmm. We don't want our men and women just driving around those. Stop, take care of it. Mm -hmm. Is that a form of policing? I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. And we want to instill that you know, the job as a law enforcement officer is fun and exciting at times, but with that too is the less excitement, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the quality of life stuff, the just doing little something to go over and help somebody else. Volunteer, give back, help, be part of your community, not just when you're working. We want our men and women to uh, be a key leader in their communities all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the 24-hour day commitment to be a law enforcement officer. If you really take it serious and you care, is whether you're working or not, you should um, be focusing on trying to make people's lives better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you couldn't say it better than that, Sheriff Ramsey. Now we're running out of time today, but real quick, could you just 
introduce who your second in command is to us? Okay, and um, I'm um, bringing in a gentleman whose name is uh, Bill Cameron. Mm -hmm. He's uh, starting, I think, the end of the month on the 30th. He's a, uh, just retired as a sheriff in Charlotte County on the West Coast. Very experienced, 30 years law enforcement. Um, has a master's degree. Was the undersheriff. Was the sheriff. Was the sheriff through um, Hurricane Charlie, which is a Category 5, which hit the uh, Punta Gorda area. So very well experienced, well, well diversified. I think we'll make a good addition to our team here. I'm looking for an outside perspective, some, some different thoughts, some things that maybe we can do better or, or may uh, try to tweak a little bit. So mm -hmm. I think it's going to be good, and I hope so. Oh, I, I think sure. it will be. We'll have him on the show as well. He would love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me this okay. morning. My for pleasure, always. For telling our viewers your focus for 2013. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me this morning. I hope everybody has a great weekend. I'll be back here Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Hope you can join me. Thank you.